well a long time ago kind of very long i got this comment on an itch.io project that i created once it said something like can you make a tutorial for this please and i replied i probably won't well many days or even months later someone replied to my reply and i just saw it on itch.io well, I think I'm going to make a tutorial now. So first, you need to figure out if you want to make a sandboxed or unsandboxed extension. For this tutorial, we are going to make a sandboxed extension. So, the first step is to open a new tab. And then type into your URL bar, Turbo Warp, Hello World. Now, this should be the first link and I'll click it. Now you should see this code. Um, well, let's just copy that. Now, open Notepad or if you have Visual Studio. I have, I have Visual Studio, but I'm still going to showcase it using Notepad because I don't think most of you have Visual Studio. So let's paste this in here. This is a hello world extension as we can see. It's pretty simple. And this is an example extension. Now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna change this code a little to be like our extension. So first, let's make, for example, just a cool extension. So we're gonna go up here to the class and change this to, for example, GSQ's cool extension. All right, let's now, now make sure that this does not contain any spaces or underscores since that usually breaks it. Now that I wrote this, I'm gonna just copy this and paste it over here. And let's also paste it in here. Now, we will pretty much change the idea of the extension, but uh, we don't know what that is, so we do, we just do it some, like, like the name or whatever, just without. Now, where it says name, where it says it works, we just type in the name with spaces and stuff. So, just use, oh yeah, we can't use this symbol since it's this one. Yeah, we cannot, like, do this since this tells it that, like, oh, here's where text starts. Although there is a way around it by just deleting this and changing it into this. Very cool. So now I can type GSQ school extension. Now, we, we kind of already got this. So if we copy and paste this, go on to Turbo Warp, click this button. Now scroll down, click custom extension, go to text. Now paste this in here and run with sandbox. So don't take this. Click load, you see GSQ's cool extension. Wow, so, so cool. Hello, world. Yeah, 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 so cool. Boring, right? So, let's code some more. Here, we can see blocks, right? So, like, we have all the blocks here uh, in this basic format. So, like, uh, opcode, hello. What, what's an opcode, you might ask? Well, it's pretty much an ID, okay? Just, just an ID. So if I, uh, for example, I'm gonna make an example block now. Um, let's name it hi, okay? The opcode is now, the opcode is now hi. This is pretty much the ID. And as we can see down here where it says hello, this is also an ID. So since we changed it up here, let's also change it down here to hi. Now, next, we see this line that says block type. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Now scratch our block type dot reporter. This is a reporter. Well, let's go back to this site where we copy pasted this code. And let's go down a little. A little. Um, a little more. There we go. Here we can see a bunch of block types. For example, command which is like moves to 10 steps as you can see like these examples reporter exposition costume name boolean mouse down hat when loudness blah 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 event blah 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 
we will now only be working with these three first since I don't like I'm not that good with these ones yet since they're not that easy so let's just first make command reporter and boolean very simple so let's say I don't know I want a block like not a reporter like a block so I copy paste this back here and boom now I made a mistake here see there isn't a comma after this anymore this is really important that after this one and this one there's a comma because there's always another line behind it right so if we go here we and we go one down we see oh there's another line so add a comma here you go here is there another line below this yes so add a comma here is there another line behind this no so we don't add a comma very simple now we change the ID like the orb code right but like, like that doesn't really seem to change anything visually and we change it to a block which is pretty cool now the text well I'm gonna tell you something simple how we're gonna do this. so let's just make a block call it um, say hello for example just say hello right now we come back to the high down here where we have this ID or op code and we see hello um, return world delete that and since it isn't a reporter we don't need to return anything right returning like when you click on the block pretty much means return so now that we put in say hello we want it to say hello now next thing we're gonna code it in javascript all right so let's just make it say hello by typing alert which is a javascript function and then brackets also already add a semicolon at the end which is very important else everything is gonna break and now in here we can just put these or these now I personally always use these since I code in other languages where you need to use these but you could also use these so I'm gonna just use these now we wanted to say hello so we're gonna just type in hello now copy paste that back to Toboop refresh the page now go back to the extension blah, blah. when we paste this in here we actually want to tick the run without sandbox even though this is for sandbox and we're technically coding in sandbox like this is how you code it in sandbox but it also works for the not sandbox let's just to click load right and now if we click say hello hello well this is only for like on sandbox but we're in a sandbox tutorial so uh, we don't really like want this so instead of making it a command let's make it a reporter which is you can see over here a reporter is a round block that reports a string or number yeah pretty easy simple now we have a reporter let's keep the text here say hello and then very difficult we say return now the most difficult part we put a semicolon at the end again and we type hello and now can you guess what happens when I load this oh and what happens if I click on this what the will it say hmm? it says hello how unexpected now, now the fun part with this is if you make it a boolean which um, here we can I can see a block with point edge that reports a boolean true or false yeah so the funny part with that is if we just like just change this to boolean and we don't change this and we just refresh again put this in here oh yeah with sandbox by the way and we click this I wonder what it's gonna say hello funny right so you can just do if hello then I don't know actually what it will return well I think it's true yeah so, so if hello then works nice awesome yeah you can also obviously change this to uh, tr true or false like that that fully works too now let's just make a boolean that says hello how about we make a reporter and a boolean let's say 
hello both of them now this is only one block right so we can see like here it's a start here it's the end of the block right so let's just um get all of this copy it copy all of this go to the end bracket here put a comma enter and paste all right so now we have comma and then another one now let's change the op code you always need a different op code so let's say hi um i don't know uh hello hello i guess i don't know and then change this to a reporter let's change it to a reporter because why not now let's keep it say hello and now we already have one here with the id but we're just gonna copy paste this anyway change the id to hello because well id hello id hello do return hello yeah, yeah this is a lot of hello way too much hello so let's paste it in here and all of a sudden we have two and i wonder what they're gonna say hello and hello wow <laughs> yes yeah, so this is pretty simple but now if you're gonna be like wait i want to add input though well sure this is how so we go back to, to the hello world page pretty much it doesn't matter and now we go here to the dealing with inputs tab now we see all of this yellow stuff all you want to really copy is like from the text after the text the comma and then all of this so two brackets at the end the two brackets not not three not one two at the end and right, we copy this go back to our code let's delete one of them because uh yeah we're only gonna do this example so now we want so we go to the end of this text and we paste it in now we have one and two well we only want one argument we'll then go to in front of this comma and delete this but I personally am gonna do it with two so let's keep it two now both of these are pretty much almost the same they both have an ID again one and two IDs yeah but very simple and here we have the type now if we if we are on the dealing with inputs and go down again now we have types for them string number boolean color angle matrix node image costume sound that's a lot well let's make a number let's make both of them a number so we replace string with number and now here on two we can also see we have a default value now a default value is just what value it is when you drag it out or whatever let's make it one all right now let's add a comma here and copy and paste this because i also want this one to have a default value so let's have both of them be one let's make this block a reporter and basically what we're now making is a block that can calculate one plus one or or two plus two or whatever so we just type in square brackets one uh, like our first input remember then we add plus square bracket two which is two here you can see it matches now let's go back down to this ID now now we need to into these brackets we need to type arcs don't ask why you just need to do it all right only if it has input though else you don't really need to but you can anyway but we don't care about that right now so now after the return let's just make it so now next is a little complicated but you can hopefully understand so we type args which are the arguments right which are our inputs one and two dot one for example since we have one here and two here but we first need one then we do a plus 
and now we do arc dot two because well we wanted to one plus two basically like the arguments though not the numbers as we can see here and now at the end of this we put a semicolon again so now let's test it out by going to turbo warp refresh the page put it in here and now load and now awesome one plus one what is one plus one two what is one plus sorry one plus two three one plus three what is five million billion yes so it works pretty awesome and now you kind of know how to deal with inputs now let's make now maybe you want this to also be minus so we copy and paste this again but now you need to be careful now there should be three brackets at this end now let's do the same add a comma paste new line paste now change the op code again to hello let's make a minus now so we just add a minus here copy paste this again change the id to hello and now instead of doing arc dot one plus arc dot two we do minus now let's try this again boom we have one plus one two one minus one is zero awesome and two mi and one minus two minus one awesome now this this two awesome yeah so now you know the basics of making an extension thanks for watching i hope you could understand everything and i'm excited to see what extension you can now create